In the midst of the space race's fervor, the Soviet Union was at the forefront, achieving remarkable breakthroughs that shaped the course of space exploration. Amidst their victories, however, lay a trove of secrets and untold stories concealed from the public and their space rivals. Guy's closely guarded mysteries only came to light when a Soviet astronaut chose to share them just before his passing. Within the expanse of Soviet space achievements, a concealed enigma, safeguarded by a Soviet astronaut until his final moments, has remained veiled in mystery. In this video, we will talk about the revelations made by this astronaut and explore the profound implications these secrets hold for our understanding of the cosmos. So, let's get started. The unsung pioneers of space exploration, while history reveres Neil Armstrong as the first man to set foot on the moon and NASA as the agency that realized this historic achievement, it often overlooks the Soviet Union's pioneering role in lunar exploration. Well, they proudly claim the title of being the first to explore the lunar surface. However, their accomplishments extended far beyond this initial triumph, venturing where no one had gone before. In a remarkable feat that astonished the world, the Soviet Union accomplished what seemed impossible at the time they successfully sent a man-made object hurtling into the atmosphere of another planet, Venus. This momentous achievement marked a new chapter in the ongoing rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union, which had evolved beyond the Cold War into a race for supremacy in outer space. The space race, a quest for dominance, the competition between these two global superpowers was relentless. Unable to establish dominance over each other on Earth, they shifted their focus to the uncharted territories of outer space. But wait, there's more. This marked the beginning of a fierce space race, a competition that would propel humanity into the cosmos at an astonishing pace. Leading the charge, the Soviet Union's determination to conquer the cosmos was evident in their groundbreaking achievements. They proudly launched the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik, into orbit. Also, they made history by sending animals into Earth's orbit and safely returning them. Yet, their sights were set on even more ambitious targets the moon and our neighboring planet, Venus, conquering the harsh Venusian landscape. In the 1960s, the Soviet Union achieved an extraordinary milestone by successfully landing a spacecraft on Venus. The Venera mission aimed to gather crucial information about this enigmatic planet, known for its hostile climate. Venus boasts an atmospheric pressure a staggering 92 times that of Earth and it poses the additional challenge of toxic gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur in its atmosphere. Venus, a scorching mystery. Venus, often referred to as Earth's fiery twin, poses a fascinating conundrum due to its extreme atmospheric conditions. Surprisingly, despite its proximity to the Sun, Venus boasts even higher temperatures than Mercury, the closest planet to our star. Well, the key distinction lies in their atmospheres. While Mercury's is relatively sparse, Venus's atmosphere is dense and traps heat effectively. Consequently, Venus maintains a searing temperature of approximately 400 degrees Celsius, a scorching reality that persists day and night, in stark contrast to Mercury, which plummets to a bone-chilling 173 degrees Celsius during its nighttime. The Formidable Challenges of Venera Mission these formidable conditions presented daunting challenges for the Soviet Union's Venera mission. The unforgiving nature of Venus's environment likely deterred NASA from venturing into this hostile territory, as they concentrated their efforts on lunar and Jupiter exploration. Overcoming initial setbacks, the Soviet Union's quest to conquer Venus faced a series of setbacks in the early 1960s. The first two Venera missions ended in failure, with Venera 3 as crash landing on Venus in 1965, yielding no data. However, perseverance paid off, and in 1967, Venera 4 successfully touched down on Venus, providing a watershed moment in our understanding of this enigmatic planet. Prior to this breakthrough, Venus was shrouded in mystery, concealed beneath thick, ominous clouds. Venera 4's data revealed a stark reality. Venus's atmosphere primarily consisted of carbon dioxide, devoid of oxygen or water, and devoid of a magnetic field. The monumental Venera 9-12 missions, the most remarkable among these missions, were the Venera 9-12 space probes launched between 1975 and 1978. 
These hefty probes, each weighing up to 11,000 pounds, were equipped with landers capable of capturing clear, high-quality photographs. Astonishingly, photographs of Venus's exploration were held in secrecy by the Soviet Union until an intrepid Soviet astronaut leaked them to the world. A hidden Mars exploration agenda. Beyond Venus, the Soviets maintained a veil of secrecy surrounding their Mars exploration program, inspired by the success of the Venera mission. They turned their attention to Earth's sister planet, Mars. These missions, spanning from 1960 to 1973, involved uncrewed spacecraft comprising landers, orbiters, and flyby probes, and further exemplified the Soviet Union's unyielding commitment to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, challenges, and triumphs of the Mars missions. The early endeavors to explore Mars were not without their share of challenges and remarkable achievements. The initial launch in 1969 suffered a complete failure due to design and technical flaws. However, the subsequent Mars missions, Mars 2 and Mars 3, marked significant milestones in space exploration. Twin missions to the Red Planet, Mars 2 and Mars 3, nearly identical spacecraft, were launched within days of each other. Mars 2 embarked on its journey to the Red Planet on May 19, 1971. With a total weight of approximately 4,000 kilograms, Mars 3 followed closely, launching on May 28, 1971, with an identical weight to its predecessor. These spacecraft were tasked with traversing the vast expanse of 200 million kilometers between Earth and Mars. They featured a range of sophisticated components, including spherical landing capsules, conical braking shields, retro rockets, and parachute systems, with a combined weight of 4,650 kilograms. Well, Kais, these specifications closely resemble the design elements found in contemporary space capsules, and interestingly, the Russians introduced an idea that still influences space exploration today, the birth of rovers, Propim Rover, before other nations like the United States and China ventured into Mars exploration with rovers. The Russians pioneered the concept with the Propim rover. This ingenious space apparatus was engineered to perform tasks that an astronaut would typically undertake if physically present on Mars. Resembling a square and weighing approximately 5 kilograms, the Propim rover was equipped with specialized skis that facilitated a hopping movement across the Martian surface. Guys, its detection systems were finely tuned to identify obstacles such as boulders and ditches enabling it to navigate rugged terrain with ease. Remarkably, even in 1971, the Soviets designed this robot to operate autonomously, Mars 2 and Mars 3. Contrasting outcomes, the Mars 2 spacecraft, unfortunately, never achieved a successful landing and crashed due to a system malfunction. In stark contrast, Mars 3 executed a flawless soft landing on the Martian surface securing its place as the first man-made craft to achieve this feat. This monumental achievement once again catapulted the Russians to the forefront of the epic space exploration race, firmly positioning them ahead of their U.S. rival. Dual-purpose missions, both Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions shared a weight of approximately 4,650 kilograms and comprised two primary components, an orbiter and a landing module. The primary objectives were twofold, to observe Mars from orbit and to gather up close data from the Martian surface. These missions encompassed a broad spectrum of observations, ranging from capturing images of the Martian landscape to collecting seismic data, enriching our understanding of this enigmatic neighboring world. Cutting-edge instruments on Mars 2 and Mars 3, Mars 2 and Mars 3 were equipped with a remarkable array of pre-installed instruments showcasing the cutting-edge technology of their time. Among these instruments were ultraviolet spectrometers, photocameras, infrared detectors, and magnetometers. Well, the ultraviolet spectrometers were tasked with scrutinizing the Martian atmosphere and soil, while the magnetometers meticulously measured the magnetic field's intensity and direction. Radiometers played a vital role in collecting data concerning atmospheric pressure and water vapor levels. Advanced technology ahead of its time. These two spacecraft indeed featured advanced technology that was well ahead of its era. A notable component was a lander, meticulously designed to withstand the rigorous impact upon descent. The landing sequence itself was a fascinating process. Guys, it commenced with the deployment of a parachute, 
specifically tailored for the Martian atmosphere. Following this, a set of retro rockets was activated after a brief period, further facilitating a gentle and controlled touchdown. The mysterious silence of Mars 3, however, despite the initial triumph of the USSR's Mars 3 landing, it suddenly and mysteriously lost contact with the mission base. Yet, the Soviet Union, having gained a significant wealth of scientific knowledge and technological advancement, remained undeterred. Their ambitions were undiminished, fueled by their taste of victory. While the desire to outshine the United States certainly motivated their Martian missions, there was an additional, intriguing agenda at play the search for extraterrestrial life on Mars. The quest for Martian life, the Martian rover, an integral component of the mission, was not solely equipped for soil and weather analysis. It was also designed to search for signs of biological life forms. When the Mars 3 spacecraft transmitted the first ever live image from Mars, the world's anticipation was palpable. However, the image displayed a predominantly gray background, making it practically impossible to discern any potential alien presence. Nonetheless, this achievement was hailed as a remarkable breakthrough, and the Soviet Union took great pride in its accomplishment. Lost in silence, the fate of Mars 3 and its rover, the loss of communication was a poignant setback, leaving scientists at the mission base in a state of uncertainty regarding the fate of Mars 3 and its accompanying rover. The Propim rover was intricately designed to be manipulated by the specialized arm of the Mars 3 spacecraft, tempered to it, and limited in its movement to the field of view of the onboard cameras. Ideally, the rover would have systematically halted at predetermined intervals to take measurements. Regrettably, it never had the opportunity to explore a substantial portion of the Martian surface, unveiling the hidden. What else remains secret? Guys, this revelation naturally sparks curiosity about other undisclosed details that the Soviets might have kept hidden from the global community, perhaps evidence of otherworldly creatures or even the existence of a Martian civilization. Certainly, Mars has always tantalized astronomers with its enigmatic features and phenomena. Mysterious Martian dust storms. Among these enigmas, Martian dust storms stand out as a captivating and perplexing phenomenon. These tempestuous events seem to materialize out of nowhere, sweeping across the Martian landscape, at times persisting for weeks. Guys, during such episodes, Mars undergoes a striking transformation, transitioning from a lifeless, rust-hued sphere into a turbulent, amber-hued world. Mars' distinctive topography and atmospheric conditions create the ideal conditions for these dramatic dust storms, further enhancing the mystique of the planet. The Enigma of Mars 3's Fate Well, the last images transmitted by the Mars 3 rover depicted a monotonous gray background. Many experts and scientists in the Soviet Union believe that a sudden dust storm may have engulfed Mars 3, ultimately leading to its untimely silence. This underscores the inherent uncertainties of space exploration. Even with meticulous planning and flawless execution, success is far from guaranteed. Lessons from past mishaps. Consider the case of Mars 2, which possessed all the prerequisites for a successful landing. Yet, it met an unfortunate end due to a last-minute failure of the rocket systems, culminating in a dramatic crash. Similarly, during the famed Apollo mission, a parallel incident unfolded when the lunar module struggled to achieve a clean landing. Only Neil Armstrong's swift intervention to take manual control averted potential tragedy for the mission's crew. Such occurrences underscore the inherent risks of venturing into the cosmos. Advancements in Mars exploration Following the Mars 3 incident, the Soviet Union made concerted efforts to prevent a recurrence during subsequent missions. By the period spanning 2000 to 2010, Substantial technological advancements had occurred in space exploration. Guys, this progress kindled a renewed interest among American scientists, leading to the launch of NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, IMARO, in 2005. Hunting for Mars 3, the surprising discovery, American scientists, armed with images and data from the Mars 3 transmission, embarked on a relentless quest to pinpoint the landing coordinates of Mars 3. This undertaking proved arduous, as several decades had passed, raising the possibility that Martian dust or tempestuous storms may have obscured or scattered the remnants of Mars 3. 
Anyhow, their persistence bore fruit when the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, captured intriguing photographs revealing debris and objects that bore the unmistakable hallmarks of a crashed spacecraft. Among these artifacts, the most recognizable was the remarkably preserved parachute. Adjacent to the parachute lay a circular metal object, strongly suspected to be the Mars 3 lander, and in close proximity, a dark area that appeared to be the designated landing point. Fostering partnership, not rivalry, the birth of the International Space Station, ISS. Guys, rather than sparking another episode of space rivalry between age-old adversaries, the United States and Russia, this revelation served as a catalyst for a unique collaboration the birth of the International Space Station, ISS. Astronomical marvels and the astonishing sight of UFOs. In 2020, a startling event unfolded when a Russian astronaut, commonly known as a cosmonaut, shared UFO footage with the world via social media. This cosmonaut, Ivan Wenger, was orbiting Earth aboard the ISS, recording a video capturing the breathtaking spectacle of the Aurora Australis, also known as the Southern Lights. The Aurora Australis, a celestial phenomenon akin to the more commonly observed Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis, graces the night skies of regions including Australia, Antarctica, Chile, Argentina, and New Zealand. This ethereal display features a mesmerizing interplay of green and other rainbow-colored lights dancing in the night sky. From the vantage point of space, these lights manifest as a majestic crown encircling Earth. While the brief video spent merely a minute, Wenger clarified that he had recorded it as a time-lapse. In real time, these enigmatic objects maintained their formation for approximately 52 seconds. This captivating video quickly garnered attention on social media, generating widespread discussion and support for Wenger's belief that these were indeed unidentified flying objects, UFOs, a veil of secrecy in space. Once again, guys, we find ourselves confronted with a space mystery, with answers conspicuously absent. Instances like these inevitably raise questions about the extent of knowledge held by space exploration agencies that remain hidden from the public eye. Over the years, agencies like NASA have faced allegations from whistleblowers who claim to possess leaked information regarding aliens and UFOs. However, it appears that other space agencies may also have their share of undisclosed secrets about the cosmos. The Soviet Space Exploration Enigma the Soviet Union's exploration missions to Venus and Mars yielded a trove of data and insights about these distant planets. Astonishingly, as disclosed by a Soviet astronaut, not all of this valuable information has been shared with the public. During the final Venera mission in 1982, Venera 13 accomplished a remarkable feat by capturing clear, high-quality photographs of Venus and gathering a wealth of additional data from the planet's surface. Notably, it detected traces of organic molecules on Venus's surface, raising the tantalizing possibility of the presence of biological life forms. Contemplating the unthinkable, aliens on Venus, these revelations inevitably lead to the thought-provoking question, could there indeed be extraterrestrial life on Venus, and did the Soviets, by chance, encounter evidence of it during one of their missions? At present, we may find ourselves without definitive answers. But one can only hope that in the not-so-distant future, the full truth regarding these space agency missions will come to light, whether through official channels or unofficial disclosures.